I'm like at a loss for words. It's taking me a long time to get here, but it's cool to see. Damn, if 17 year old Lara could see me now, it's like, I'm never gonna let a guy treat me like again, you know? Hello, my name is Laura Parker, and for the last decade or so of my life, I've been dealing with what I refer to as vagina problems. If you wanna get into specifics, I have endometriosis, vaginismus, and some related conditions. Basically, my pelvic floor is in pain all of the time, and because of this, I have never been able to have pain-free penetrative sex. I think for some reason, I've always felt like I'm not allowed to be sexual. There's a lot of stigma around women owning their sexuality and talking about masturbating and female pleasure in general, but I think as a straight woman who exclusively has been with men, the idea of sex to me for years and years has always been the idea of penetration. And since that was something that I could never have, in many ways I felt like I wasn't allowed to be a sexual being or like want to have sex or that anyone would want to have sex with me because it was just so cut and dry, so black and white. And in the last several years, I've done a lot of work to help myself realize and hopefully help other people realize that that is like not at all what sex is or what it can be. And I'm 28 now. I've been dealing with this since I was 18, for better or worse. I think I'm at the place now where I'm finally starting to see myself as someone who can still be desirable, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it was always that way. So I've decided, and you know what? I should have thought about how to say this word before I got on camera. Boudoir, is that right? Boudoir, boudoir. <laughs> I'm going to have a boudoir shoot done. I'm nervous, but also really, really excited. I think I feel like I've had this like sexual awakening in the last nine months of my life and I feel like a different person. So I found the photographer literally just by doing a Google search and he came up and he's like a renowned boudoir photographer. Hey guys, I'm Michael Sasser, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California. To me, boudoir is an empowering form of photography for everyday women typically in a risque way. So boudoir is a safe space where a woman can sort of accept the person that she is as she is. I like to say that uh, the mirror is a liar. You know, what you're seeing when you look in the mirror isn't actually an honest representation of what you look like. You're looking at that through the eyes of uh, someone really, really critical. When you're looking at a photo of yourself, you can't really be as judgmental. You have to kind of accept that this, this person in this image is really you. And, and if you like the way that person looks, it kind of forces you to start to appreciate the way that you look. I just woke up. It's the morning of the shoot. I'm anxious, nervous. Um, the morning of, I woke up and I wasn't feeling the best, mentally or physically, and I was kind of like stressed out about how the shoot was gonna go. I don't know, I just don't feel sexy today. I don't know if I'll ever feel truly ready for this. Like maybe emotionally ready, but physically, I'm not sure. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting out of bed at the moment. I was kind of nervous, like I was nervous about how the pain was gonna be, but on my way there, like mostly what I felt was just excitement. I got my hair and makeup done as soon as I got there, and so as soon as I had my hair and makeup done and I saw myself in the mirror, I was like, oh my God. Wow, this is good. This is gonna look good. And then we kind of took some time to look through the outfits and like see the space. And then we got to choose what outfits spoke to me most. Something in my already habit that just shows off my butt. And then I kind of like put them on and we just like started. We started out with just a sweater, like an off the shoulder sweater to kind of get myself acclimated and kind of get myself to feel comfortable. After that I was like, okay, let's take the clothes off, like let's do it. So I got some lingerie and like we moved to the bed and like moved all over. As the day progressed, like my pain was progressing, like my physical pain, but it was like I didn't even care because I was just so in the moment and I was just like, whatever. And he would show me pictures throughout and it was very clear that like my pain wasn't showing up in the way that it felt. Like it felt like it was just this elephant coming into the room, like messing everything up. But when he showed me the pictures, like I couldn't see it and that made me feel better to keep going. Um, 
Um, so far it's going really well. He showed me a couple of the pictures like right after he's taken it, um, just like really quick peeks and I haven't disliked any of them. Like in fact, when I see them, I'm like, that's not me. So that's good. I mean, I think, <laughs> no, it's, it's going well. The thing is like, it's really, awkward because you have to just like allow yourself to be sexual in a way that you usually don't right like i'm not just like sexual in front of people usually it's when the lights are off and i'm like in my bedroom with someone um and you just kind of have to like let yourself get there and not feel weird or embarrassed about it so that's been the hardest part for me because i just keep being like i mean obviously there's a camera crew here too so i just keep feeling like oh i feel awkward right now but as soon as i start to let myself go and actually start like feeling it and like listening to the music, then I can tell that it's like a better picture. So it's just getting out of my head um, is the hardest part. A lot of times I think people think boudoir photography is for another person. Like you're doing it as a gift to give to your husband or like to your wife, whatever. But really it's for you. It's about how you feel. Yes, I want other people to be attracted to me. And yes, I want people to want to have sex with me in different ways and know that I'm desirable. But at the end of the day, what really matters to me is knowing that I'm desirable and believing that inside myself. And I've gotten so close to that point and I feel like I'm there in ways that I never have been before. And this is just the final way to like put the cherry on top and say, yeah, I'm here, I love myself and it's been a journey, but I'm proud of myself. We're done. Yeah, so how do you feel? It, I feel really good right now, mentally. Physically, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm having a bad pain day, but it's funny because I just like, I don't really care that much. I'm like very excited to see these photos. We had the crew leave for just a little bit and I just like got fully nude and it was very empowering. And I was like, I saw like a glimpse on his camera, peeked a little glimpse and I was like, so I don't know like I'm nervous like I really hope I just there's no way that I'm not gonna love them because it's just no matter what it was just a really good experience so I feel good I feel great I feel like I drank caffeine but I didn't so and then we got to see the pictures and we like had the big reveal and so, Are you ready? yeah What? Oh my God. What? It was like emotional for me in good and bad ways. It wasn't really bad at all. It was just like yeah, reflecting on how far I've come and where I am now. And like, I was really proud of myself and it was really cool to like showcase that in front of people. Oh my God, this doesn't even look like me. It's wild. I mean, it's me, but it's like, Damn, if 17-year-old Lara could see me now, she'd be like, what the f you know? It's really cool. I think I was gonna get emotional. <laughs> it just feels good to like, like myself, you know? And like, look at myself and be like, I'm f***ing sexy, <laughs> you know? Um, no, that's really cool. They look so good. I'm like shaking a little bit. Um, I'm like at a loss for words. It's just cool. Like I've just, it's taken me a long time to get here, but it's cool to see. And just like, I love to the pictures. Like I want to frame them all. I was very excited about it. This whole thing is emotional for me. Like it's impossible to separate my emotions from it. And I don't really think that I want to because it's kind of like the point of why I'm here is celebrating the emotional journey that I've come on. You think of a chronic illness or you think of chronic pain, people think of like the physical aspect of it, but the mental aspect of it is something that isn't talked about enough. And especially with conditions like mine that are literally in your vagina, it's like a very personal thing. It's embarrassing, stigmatized. It's not something that you generally want to talk about. And so doing this and just 
allowing myself to talk openly about it, allowing myself to be this sexual person and just saying, I don't give a sh what the rules are for sex. Like, I'm just living in the way that I can and like, I'm not gonna be ashamed of it or embarrassed and I don't think anyone else should either. I mean, I, I thought this shoot went great. Laura's a trooper, she's so brave. I always say you don't need to be confident to come in for a boudoir shoot, but you do need to be brave. You know, confidence is something that I think a lot of people ha have a hard time with and it's something that you leave with after the shoot. You know, but to be brave, to put yourself out there, to document yourself in this really vulnerable state, and then to share it with the world, to empower other women, to show that uh, you know they have a place and they have a reason to love themselves, I think is so courageous, and I think it's amazing, and I think we're all lucky to have people like Laura. So it's been really good, and I feel really good, and I think I'm gonna get Taco Bell on the way home, and then just like go lay with my dog and like stare at pictures of my naked body for the next five to seven hours, and I can't wait. It's gonna be great. I just feel really good. I'm like in a very good mood. Like, I just feel powerful. Like, I just texted my friend and I was like, no man is ever deserving of us. And she was like, you're right, but what are you talking about? <laughs> I just feel alive. It's good. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to learn more or read more in depth about the story, you can click the link in the description below and read the article that I wrote about my experience.